The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, our example in self-control. Who did no sin, neither was guile found in his mouth, who, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. 1 Peter 2, verses 22 and 23. The highest evidence of nobility in a Christian is self-control. We should copy the example of Jesus, for when he was reviled, he reviled not again, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. Our Redeemer met insult and mockery with uncomplaining silence. All the cruel taunts of the murderous throng who exulted in his humiliation and trial in the judgment hall could not bring from him one look or word of resentment or impatience. He was the majesty of heaven, and in his pure breast there dwelt no room for the spirit of retaliation, but only for pity and love. There seems to be a mist before the eyes of many, for they fail to discern spiritual things and do not recognize the workings of Satan to entrap their souls. Christians are not to be the slaves of passion. They are to be controlled by the Spirit of God. But many become the sport of the enemy, because when temptation comes, they do not rest in Jesus, but worry themselves out of his arms. We make failures in our little daily difficulties and allow them to irritate and vex us. We fall under them and so make stumbling blocks for ourselves and others. But blessings of the greatest importance are to result from the patient endurance of these daily vexations, for we are to gain strength to bear greater difficulties. Oh, that we might control our words and actions. What harm is wrought in the family circle by the utterance of impatient words? For the impatient utterance of one leads another to retort in the same spirit and manner. Then come words of retaliation, words of self-justification, and it is by such words that a heavy galling yoke is manufactured for your neck. For all these bitter words will come back in a bellful harvest to your soul. How much better to have the oil of grace in the heart, to be able to pass by all provocation and bear all things with Christ-like meekness and forbearance.